millipede that is uh, very ashamed of itself. You see that, Fergus? Mm. It seems to be deeply shamed, and it is so shamed that it has hidden its face from the world. Now, what it's doing, I don't know. I suppose it could be hiding under the ground. I think millipedes do live for more than a year. Maybe it's decided that it's now got too cold and it needs to set, sort itself out in some kind of a hidey hole for the rest of the year until the next rains come, it's, that's possible. Alternatively, it could be looking for fungus. We're on an old termite mound and it's quite possible that it's looking for the fungus of the fungus growing termite because they do like to eat fungus, so that's possible. But I think it's much more likely that it is the third option there, at least the second option. I don't think it's genuinely ashamed. I also don't think that it's looking for fungus. I think it's finding a safe hidey hole. And I imagine digging for a millipede with that many legs and getting into a solid piece of ground like this cannot be easy at all. You can see it's not moving with a great deal of enthusiasm. Must be a Cape Townian millipede. Isn't that amazing? Every so often it just moves one or two more segments into the hole. And by this time next year it should be buried. <laughs> I'm of course being facetious, it will be buried in the next few minutes. Might be even less than that. There it goes. Look at it disappearing completely. Goodbye, millipede. I'm not sure we'll see you again this season. Probably not. Thank you for the summer. Isn't that fantastic? So the next time somebody says to you, where do the millipedes go? You'll be able to answer them. Into the ground. Now let's see if he covers himself up there or if he just leaves the hole. That's fantastic. That is really very, very cool. <laughs> Good. Well, I suppose we should move on.